y'all. So, I'm going to now share you this one story that I dealt with. Well, I didn't, actually, no. I didn't deal with it at all. But I witnessed it when I was working at uh, 7-Eleven. Okay. So, um, the story... This is actually one of the kind of funniest stories I, you know, like, I have from 7-Eleven. I'll share more from what I can, but here. All right, y'all. So, um, hold up. Give me a minute. Okay, yeah. Okay. So, the story was, like, literally, like, one night when I, I was just working. It was, like, a delivery day and all that stuff. So, we had, like, a very busy day and all. Okay? Freaking, um, so, you know, I'm sure many, I'm probably sure that some of you, you know, guys, like, working in some, like, convenience store, retail, whatever, has probably dealt with this, maybe. But, okay. We had a customer that walked in, and he straight up said, um, well, he straight up, like, tried to buy, like, a two liter soda along with some chips or something like that okay um <laughs> um it actually makes me laugh when i think about it but um so anyway this guy tried to so he came up to the front and he tried to purchase his items my coworker, he like rang it up and then like it came out to like i think like four or something maybe five i don't know something some, somewhere among those lines but the guy immediately said, wait a second, but the sign over there on the front says that it would have been like $3 or something, you know what I mean? Because apparently there was like a deal going on. So my coworker just, you know, wanted to see what, you know, what he was able to do. So, but first he wanted to go check on like why didn't it rank up to $3 because, you know, automatically the, ca the cash register would have like, you know, recognized the deal and it would have gone up to $3. So he went to the front and then he looked at the poster and then like he showed the customer that the deal was valid through this date and it was past that date and so in other words they were hanging up a poster that you know like was expired so they were you know advertising the expired deal so my coworker explained that to the customer he took the poster down and threw it away but then the guy was like oh but why are you, why did you guys have the whole poster up you know what i mean like that's false advertising stuff like that then he was like, oh, well, I'm sorry, sir, but we must have not recognized it. So I can only sell it to you for what it is right now, which is four or five something dollars. Then the guy was like, no, no, sir, you're going to sell this to me for three dollars. <laughs> three dollars. All right. <laughs> and well, because of how demanding he sounded and because my coworker kept convincing him, like, no, sir, we were only doing the poster guy was like too stuck in his way saying that he wants it for three dollars okay um so my, oh hold up so my co-worker uh, instead of what he did he said you know we here at 7-eleven we have the right to refuse service to anyone and today that person is you <laughs> he, <laughs> and because of that he just snatched the drink and chips away and like was gonna refuse him service then the one dude said, okay, you know what? I'm going to record this and I'm going to send it to corporate. And my coworker was like, hello, like trying to like fuck with him. He was, he took out the, the chips and drink and said, do you want me to hold it up for you for the video? <laughs> so I don't know. The guy was like getting fed up with how like my coworker was being so sarcastic and like was treating this as a joke that he eventually said, okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> then my coworker sarcastically said, have a good day. <laughs> well, I mean... All right, so now that that happened and all that stuff, um, <laughs> um, okay. So let this kind of show you guys that realistically, us employees and all that stuff, we don't have the power to kind of, you know, like give you like guys a certain deals, give you discounts or freaking like, you know, try to change a price and all just to satisfy you guys. We're not, we don't have that power as employees, okay? And it's not necessarily our fault that we didn't notice the advertisement. Realistically, I feel like they should have told us to take that poster down. But either way, I feel like some customers are just being too stingy and all that stuff. Because they immediately say, oh, that's false advertisement. False advertisement and all that stuff. In fact, we actually had another one. Well, here, I'll just give you guys another one. This one guy wanted to buy some, like, alcohol and all that stuff. And he actually, and, like, I don't know. There was, like, a some deal or something that was going on. It said right there in the alcohol, you know, aisle um, on the door or something like that. He came and then said that, um, oh, he was like, oh, hey, so how come this didn't run? Well, when he tried to ring it up, it didn't go to the price that he expected. We had to explain, like, oh, yo, I don't know, the deal must have been expired. So then he just accepted it and walked away. But then he came back, like, a second time. And apparently he tried to, he do this, he did the same thing. And then he said, why are you guys lying to me? Dog. I mean, I do understand why, you know, like, the, that's probably, like, false advertising, whatever, and all that stuff. 
But realistically, if you already knew that happened the first time and you realize that we didn't do anything about it, why'd you try to attempt a second time? That just shows that you're just starting trouble, you know what I mean? Are you that stingy and all that stuff? But, like, I don't know, like, that's... I kind of feel bad that my coworkers had to deal with people like that, but, like, I don't know. I feel like maybe, you know, realistically, we should have immediately done something when, uh, you know, like, they realized that a deal is expired. I mean, I didn't have to deal with anything, but, like, still, I don't know. Just some customers probably just need to be maybe a little bit more understanding, but I don't know. <laughs> Us employees don't really have the power to do such as, like, you know, under what a corporation has the power to do. But anyway, y'all, that's the story. So hope you enjoyed it.